G'day viewers. Well, what a week Trump's given us again, with so much happening, both bizarre and reprehensible. Hey, speaking of that, want to see my Kathy Griffin impersonation? I'm just going with a, a blonde wig and an orange bag. Look, I'm Kathy Griffin. I'm really sorry I did something that people regard in poor taste, because nobody who supports Trump ever does anything in poor taste anyway. Besides, freedom of speech. Fuck you, motherfuckers. Honestly, okay, so... If you missed it, Kathy Griffin apparently did some video where she had a simulated severed Trump head on it. And everyone's going, that's terrible, you can't do that. Um, it's probably not something I would have done. It just seems kind of trite. But the idea that people are outraged at this, how could you do that to the president? What about his family? Fuck anyone. Fuck literally anyone who has said that's terrible. Who did not also speak out every single time some worthless sack of shit did lynching imagery of Obama. Which happened all the motherfucking time, including at official Republican events, okay? So fuck you for being a hypocrite. Anyone who goes, you can't do that, who turned a blind fucking eye to when it was done to Obama. You just make me fucking sick. I mean, I've said it enough times, I think. There's one thing to disagree with someone, but when that person is also a complete fucking hypocrite, that's when they really disgust me. That's the one thing. You know, at least someone in a clan hood isn't pretending they're not racist fucking scum, but the racists who act outraged at something when it's done against them, yeah, and, and people say, oh, but she's an entertainer. It's not the same as just someone in public. Well, how about Ted fucking Nugent, who multiple times directly threatened to murder Obama or Clinton while waving a fucking gun around on stage? Trump invited him into the fucking White House. So fuck any conservative who got worked up about this frankly, quite stupid thing Kathy Griffin did. Hey, she lost a job over it. And that, I'm not even outraged over that. That's typical. That's the thing I kind of try and explain to people. When you rely on someone else for money and you do something that that money provider might not like, you have to run the risk of losing the money from that person. It's like when people go, oh, why is everyone upset about PewDiePie and doing all that anti-Semitic stuff that was just jokes? It's like, because if someone else is giving him money and they go, wait, I don't want to give money to someone who does that. They can say it's a joke as much as they like. I don't want to be associated with it. I try to explain this to someone who goes, you don't understand why PewDiePie got blowback for doing that. Hey, imagine if, as a joke, the guy who did Blue's Clues, when he got Blue to open a letter one day, Blue pulled open a letter that said, kill all Jews. And he went, oh, Blue, I can't believe you would do that. Well, look, honestly, I would laugh if that happened. I, I'm, I'm going to unashamedly say that. If that happened on Blue's Clues, I would laugh. And then I would expect him to lose his fucking job. Because that's just how the world works. you got to be consistent. you got to say free speech all the time. Oh, you snowflakes, just because I make racist, homophobic, transphobic, encouraging people to commit hate crimes type speech, that's just free speech. And you're too difficult. Wait, you did something that I don't like. You're awful and must be stopped. Fuck you, okay? I'll just repeat that for the people who didn't get it the first time. If you have a problem with Kathy Griffin doing that and you didn't provoke the same level of outrage when the lynching stuff was done to Obama, fuck you, you fucking garbage, okay? And look, again, other things with Trump. I mean, obviously, yeah, look, yet again, he fucking humiliated himself with uh, people at NATO, and then he's pulled out of the Paris Accords. And look, honestly, that may end up being more symbolic than anything else. He's pandering to fuckwits who voted for him and evil corporate types who supported him, and it may not end up meaning that much practically, but symbolically, it's pretty fucking bad because it plays into this lie that climate change isn't real or isn't serious. See, I'm, I'm fucking done with mincing words on that. Anybody who says climate change isn't real is a fucking liar or a fucking moron 
or just a combination. And anybody who says climate change isn't an existential threat to human civilization is also a fucking liar. And anybody who says doing nothing is more expensive than doing what we need to do is also a fucking liar. Anyone who says supporting things like coal burning power plants is more expensive for us long term than investing in renewables that do less damage is a fucking liar. See, that's the whole thing. The not doing anything about climate change doesn't make sense on any level. It's going to destroy economies, it's going to kill millions, and any hope of human survival is going to cost so much more in repair down the line than doing something now, or preferably 20 fucking years ago. You know, it's just, it's the only possible option. It's the only possible way to save what we regard as civilization, and it's the only possible way to save money. You have to deal with it now, not try and fix catastrophic effects after the fact. So while Trump's uh, saying he's pulling out of the Paris Accord may ultimately end up being more symbolic than anything because the people with money, this is this is the weirdest thing, okay? There are complete fuckheads who are trying to screw every last dollar they can out of coal, for instance, but more people with more money who can no longer pretend uh, the future of climate change isn't catastrophic to protect their money and to make more, they have to do things to address climate change. Because like any form of agriculture, like shipping, anything, like, hey, I don't know if you live in a country where 90% of the population's on the coast, like, I don't know, Australia, you gotta do something or you're gonna see a catastrophic effect of it. So this whole idea of not doing anything is utterly indefensible and there are still people in power repeating the absolute lie that climate change isn't real. It's not a matter of opinion, okay? It is not a matter of opinion. Anyone who discredits the work of climate scientists is a liar, a fucking evil, soul-sucking, lying sack of shit. I refuse to fucking play nicey nice with someone who would do something that fucking evil. So if you think I'm not being fair and even handed, go fuck yourself, you rancid little shit ball, okay? You fucking scum, and I want nothing to do with you. I feel like the only light spot Trump gave us is when he clearly had a mini stroke when he was in bed tweeting and finished his sentence with, what about Kufifi? And it also, to me, really illustrates the core thing about how fucked Trump and his supporters are. Because they couldn't just admit he fucking faded out and tweeted something where his brain had stopped working. He is old and in extremely poor health. I would imagine when his actual supporters and his actual staff saw that, I'm sure it fucking terrified them. I imagine people charged to wherever he is, worried that he was going to be face down on the floor, having suffered a major fucking stroke, instead of the apparent mini stroke that he suffered. And because now they're going, you've got Spicer in press conferences going, oh well, people in the know know what Kefefe meant. People know it's because his brain stopped working, okay? Not in any figure of sense, not in any pejorative sense. I mean in the actual, literal sense that his brain stopped communicating with his hands. He is in serious trouble and it's impossible to tell how long he's got. He could drop dead at any fucking second. And you might say, oh, good, but it would cause chaos. I'm, and even though for all his negativity, I'm not standing here wishing death on Trump. I am stating the unavoidable fact he's at extremely high risk. But at least we got a laugh. And I did. I, as much as anyone, got a laugh out of Cafe Fe, made a few jokes with people. And then, oh God, you saw the people who, being holier than thou, you know, lefty activists going, oh, well, you're laughing about Cafe Fe. Other bad things happen that are getting in. Oh, oh yeah, God forbid people have any fucking fun, okay? We're probably staring at Armageddon. Fuck me if I want to laugh once or twice in the meantime, right? I mean, for fuck's sake, I really gets up my nose when people think, 
how can you say that while this is happening? First, my fucking brain can handle more than one thing, okay? I can laugh at Trump doing something stupid while still being outraged at Trump doing something evil and wrong, okay? I don't just have one thing going on, okay? And occasionally, I like to have fun. And to paraphrase a famous anarchist, if I can't have a laugh at a senile stroke-having old fuckwit, then I don't want to be part of your revolution.